After some dinner table or pub conversation starters, well here is our seasonal conditions update for summer in the Central Tablelands. Today we're in Boranor and shortly we'll be hearing from Lauren Adler and Frank McRae about the upcoming season. But first, in the south of the region, in areas such as Tugong, Manjurama, O'Connell and Sodwells, moisture is drying out quickly. A lot of our region hasn't had a rainfall event over 20 millimetres since June and combined with increased soil temperatures, pasture growth has utilised a lot of that stored soil moisture. Sodwells has seen a 52% drop in soil moisture over the last month. Likewise, at O'Connell, moisture has dropped 49% in the last month and rainfall is 22 millimetres below average for the past three months at the site. Consider grazing annual dominant pastures first to reduce undesirable annual grasses. An option for those with fescue paddocks is to keep a high grazing pressure in order to hold fescue at its vegetative stage. As always, check the condition of your stock, particularly first calving heifers, to ensure they will be in appropriate condition to be joined again next year. Prioritise those high value pastures for young and lactating animals and review your plans for non-performing stock before temperatures rise. For more options, stay tuned for our summary at the end of the video. Today, we'll be picking the brain of Frank McRae. Frank wears multiple hats, including farmer, seed product development officer, and agronomist. So Frank, do you recall a summer in the past that's been similar to what we've been having this season? I generally don't think we see too many typically the same. Where we are at the moment, we're looking okay. We've just had 33 mil of rain overnight. You know, without that rain, we would have went virtually through September without rain. So our seasons can change very quickly and we have to have plans for what happens if that occurs and monitor that. So we're going to monitor our pastures, we're going to monitor our livestock and livestock performance and what the seasonal conditions are going to do and be prepared to act, you know, if needed be. What would you say would be, as you're speaking to people, you speak to a lot of people in your roles, what would be the things that you would stress that people focus on coming into summer? Yeah, we see that normally we get rid of market stock probably by the first week in December. And, you know, that's our target through our livestock performance is really good through October, November, you know, and then starts to drop off and your markets start to shut down. So that period from start of December till the end of January is not, you know, we don't sell any stock in that period. So if you haven't gone by then, you've got to carry them through to February normally. Uh, so I monitor those and make decisions on what your stock are doing and where they're going. Cool. Is there anything that you're hearing um, around the grounds in terms of soil health um, and nutrition in, in during this time? Yeah, certainly we've been very conscious of it for probably the last 18 months, two years, um, both in our cropping and pasture systems that we've looked at probably Instatech have done a, a really good summary and study of um, all their soil tests all for, by postcode, you know, right across both cropping and pasture systems from about 2016, 19 on 20. And we're really running down our phosphorus, nitrogen and sulphur, both in our cropping and pasture systems. Um, so we need to address that, you know, look at, monitor our pastures going forward and look at whether we need to fertilise and what width and what sort of rates to, to bring those back on track. Cool. We're seeing that, uh, the effects of that low nutrients in our soil. We're seeing it in our pasture growth and livestock performance. You know, we've been, uh, livestock haven't been performing up to expectations. Well, thank you so much for letting us come around and have a chat to you, Frank, um, and giving us all your advice. Really appreciate it. No, it's been, you're welcome. It's been a really great thing to do and just to hear what's happening about our season, but the broader aspects of the season. We hope the good season continues. Absolutely. Thanks, Lauren and Frank, for the update. If you have any more questions, please check our website or reach out to your nearest local land services office.